be rude, I guess. Right. Um, <laughs> I can, you can I hear his phone ringing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's already starting. I do think. Oh, Domino's my pizza. I'm calling my mom. <laughs> no, I'm calling my mom. Let's see if she answers. She probably won't answer because she. Oh, hi. What? Uh. Oh. What are you doing? Where are you at? <laughs> so I'm at, I'm at Tracy's. Uh, who's there? No, boy. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm on my game, bro. Okay, I'm gonna come over there and check. Okay, come over. And why you giggling? Because you answered all aggressively. Nah, because you're supposed to answer. Oh, yeah, because you probably wasn't gonna answer. What do you want? Uh, tell her, tell her we want nudes. <laughs> <laughs> Late, you're not going out. But, I have, there's just vanilla but, ice cream. I got a small thing of vanilla. No, no, I want cookies and cream ice cream. CJ? What? Bro, if you actually think someone's here, you can come over. I don't care. You do not go out this late. It's not even that late. It's like 7 47. CJ, what did I say? I can't go out. No. If you want something from the store, you should have told me. <laughs> it's right up the road. <laughs> It's right up the road. Avery? My name is CJ, CJ, not Avery. CJ? Yes. It. Bro, it's... Oh, my God. What? I want ice cream. I will pick you up, take you there, and bring you back home. <laughs> I don't even this know Dollar General. I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. don't yeah, I don't even know if Dollar General sells ice cream. What do you have? What do you mean? What are you on? I'm not on nothing. Oh shit, what do you want? <laughs> I'm on, I'm on nothing. Cut. <laughs> Bro, I'm not even on nothing. You can drug am, test me. I am going to take your shit away from you if you don't stop your shit. What? <laughs> what did I do? All I know is that when Tracy comes home, your ass is home and you're not going anywhere. What did I do? You're, what you're acting like. You guys like you're grown and laughing and shit. No, I don't fuck that bullshit. Wow. Okay. I can't this laugh when why, I'm on the phone. This is why you get no fucking car. <laughs> well. Mm. Whatever. Bye. Yeah, bye. I fucking hate my <laughs> Busted. <laughs> I'm not even on nothing. I swear to God, I'm not but even on I want on ice me. cream. I want ice cream. <laughs> Bill, what are you on? I'm about to get on an anger streak so I don't have any fucking ice cream. <laughs> Bro, she really thinks I'm on something, too. That's the funny thing. Taking all your yeah, shit away, alright? Really She's tired of dealing with your shit, alright? Fuck no! <laughs> <laughs> you put the starter. That's gonna be mouth. the clickbait. Fucking arguing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cooper Co argues Cooper with Ar <laughs> Cooper's mom won't let him have ice cream. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bro, like, she's gonna come over and check the fucking house for people, and I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna have her check my eyes, like, yeah, my eyes are red. Who's Tracy? Who's Tracy? Oh, my aunt. <laughs> oh, your aunt. Yeah, my Is it aunt. your mom's sister or your dad's sister? My mom's. Uh huh. So you're banging her aunt, all right? <laughs> now, that, now that now that we got that established, you really fucking unrolled it now. <laughs> Alright, welcome to IS3 Podcast. I'm Scribble. I'm here with Intent and Cooper. And uh, that little that little bit right before this intro was uh, quite the entertainment to uh, set the uh, set the podcast off all. right, I guess. Set the tone. <laughs> set the tone. Exactly, set the I tone. I hate you all. You're <laughs> definitely giving a tone. Anytime, so, anytime somebody says my name now, I'm like, what? And oh, then it's what? like we're they're we're the like, only ones that are gonna understand it. Yeah, no, <laughs> very aggressive. Bro, I don't even know why she'd just be super like... nice to you. Be like, scribble. I've got a question for you. What? what? <laughs> I don't know why she's so mean to me, bro. Like, All right. So what? Are, what's the what's the juicy stories you got for us, or whatever topic you were you were mentioning all day? I got some juicy stuff. All right, what is it? Oh, I've got some juicy shit. Um, All right, let's let's hear it then, man. So, so you know, I'm tuning in. Okay, you know, I listen to podcasts when I when I'm at work, drive. Uh huh. Right. Quite a bit going on sales calls and stuff. Right. Uh, so, you know, I listen to these podcasts. Well, I was listening to one today. And get this, man. Get this. Uh, they were they talking, talking about, about us already. Uh, yeah, yeah, they were. Um, nah, but. Uh, 
Alright, hot Alright, just Tanya because we have four here. views, when it's when the three of us listen to it and then some random listen to it, that's a lot of people. All right. Hey, yeah, just sorry for interrupting, <laughs> bro. We, we, already have, we already have 50 views. My mom texted me so nicely. Hey, I made some of this chicken and noodles. Do you want me to make, bring you some? Text her back. What? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> and, and all cat. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, bring so... me some ice cream. <laughs> I like, bring me some ice cream. So all I right. was listening to this podcast day, right? And, um... So they come up, you know, and they're they're on the subject about um about alien conspiracy theories, um, you yes. know, all that kinds. Of I stuff. I want to touch in with that too because I got some stuff about that that I I believe as well. I'll but you go ahead. And some uh, and some you know government agencies working with aliens, to, you know, to create this. We'll we'll get this. In 1957, they actually came out and they made us a. a Full face, it looks like a modern day smartphone. It looks like the HTC, it looks like the Samsung HTC. Um, and back in 1957, they actually got a patent for it. And come to find out, they got a patent for this phone in 1957. And they had the diagram laid out and they had the phone that looks like a modern phone. And um, there was something else um, that they were looking at. They also found the patent on uh, VR goggles. That uh, you know, you do your VR stuff with. They actually had a set of V, like a VR headset, and that was not. I think they said 1962 on that one. That uh, I've actually seen a few compare. You got me saying it fucked up now. Conspiracy theories yeah, on on that now. Um, but uh, and they they were debunked, and which was which I found interesting. Like there's. You know, we all know the classic photo of the the one lady on her phone, like she's got something up to her ear, like a phone, yeah. um, and that was debunked as into like a listening device, like a, you know, like the the old horns that people would put in their ears, so they could hear better. Um, it was there was a at the time period there was a smaller one, a smaller version of it that would be something like that, and so they debunked it into that. And then there's the other one with the the guy with the modern hippie clothing and all that. That, which was a, it wasn't a style because everyone the style was like business suits and dresses, and right. but there's always there's always the people that stand out that dress funky all the time like like like, our, like, to, like nowadays modern clothes is well for guys modern clothes is jeans and a t-shirt, modern clothes, then for women it's um, it's yoga pants and a t-shirt, that's, that's modern day clothes now. Um, but then you also have, like the, uh, the emo and goth group where they always wear coats all the time, no matter what it is. Yeah. So, so even though it's not modern, it's still it's somebody different. So they debunked it into into that kind of a fad kind of thing, mm -hmm. and that's so that's kind of how that went. But on the conspiracy theory part, the I. In general, I believe there's some other kind of life out there. I don't know if they're here or not. But out of the millions and billions of stars and galaxies and all this crap inside our universe, there has to be something, you know. It doesn't have to be like uh, it doesn't have to be a human or it doesn't have to be like the the gray aliens with the big bug eyes and the people say, but there has to be some kind of living organism, you know. It could just be a planet of uh, grass. In, or whatever, whatever would be considered grass to them, you know, just right. or or um, minerals like or some. There has to be something out there. Like we don't have this whole universe with just us. Like there, there can't be, you know. So I believe that there's yeah, something. No I don't know. Maybe they're on the same level as us, where they don't have the technology to travel to find out if there's something else but I don't believe that out of the whole entire universe that we are the only living beings in this entire universe now tell me this so, do you believe that there could be some kind of intellectual you know highly intellectual alien in a in living in a different dimension than us like if we go and you know how like how they say like, in, that, like in a fourth dimension? 
Yeah, like, um, let's say this is something that was brought up in the podcast. Like, people, like, these people were going and saying that they're communicating with these aliens, but they're in a different dimension. But the way that they got their body and their state to that point would be taking DMT, which is a psychotic drug, and makes you trip. And Yeah, we, we call those people psychos. <laughs> well, yeah, but what I'm saying is, do you think they're in a different dimension? Because also No, I think they're they, crazy. They, they found this, but they have found this when you sleep, when you when your dreams happen, that people believe that that stuff is happening in a different dimension. And like your, your thoughts and your REM sleeper, you're going into a different dimension somehow. And no, I don't believe uh, that at all. They, no. uh, I believe in the uh, theory. It was, it was super, it, it was very convincing the way that they were explaining. Like, I think know. it falls along the lines of that, that study that you're talking about or the research or whatever that they were doing. I think that falls under the line. I don't know what it's called, but if you think you're sick, you will be sick kind of thing. So if you truly believe and and think that there's this other dimension of of beings or whatever, and if you truly believe that and you're focused on that all the time, and then when you sleep and you're in a REM sleep and your subconscious is taking over, of course you're gonna think that you're in another dimension because you believe on it so much. It's kind of it's like the monkey see monkey do. That you know if you if you're around a bunch of sick people, and then you start to feel sick when you're really not. So it's um, it's a mind mind controlling body thing. That if you think you're sick, you will be sick, and you're actually not. Right, right. So I, I think right. I think that's what the study is. Well, I mean, I think that's what the end results are. I don't I don't think yeah. that I don't think there's an actual other dimension that people have to get high on these anti psychotic meds to reach. I think that it's something that they believe in so much that while they're in their REM sleep, their focus is on that. Like, um, you you know how like when they're really good, here, like um, here's one that when people pee the bed, that um, you're in your third dimension of talking to somebody else. You know that you're um, you're in such a deep sleep and such a comfortable sleep, you think you're going to a bathroom to pee, and then you pee yourself. In, while you're sleeping, okay. same concept. Yeah. And because you're in your inner dream, you're it's so believable in your dreams. Like, okay, I open the bathroom door, I go up there, I unzip my, I unzip my pants. You know, I whip it out, I start peeing. You know, it's it's such a real, rim sleep. Do you, do you it, it's a, such a real subconscious thing that it ends up being a reality, and you're not actually up, but you are peeing in reality. But so I think another I, dimension. No, I don't. I think it's just a dream and your body it's a mind and body complex is what i think it is and then i mean i honestly i'll be honest i don't know about all the like the different dimension stuff like i i did i took psychology <clears throat> psychology in college and then high school but those were just entry level um, well, I'm sure to get a let, better, me, better let me let me help you out with your let me help you out with your study a little bit. I take antipsychotics, and I've never talked to myself or thought that there was somebody in another dimension talking to me. So okay. there, there's your there's your test right there. Hey, I mean, okay. I mean, <laughs> but um, true. but for the for the alien things so now now there's always like a uh, um, oh there's a leaked picture of an alien blah 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 it yeah. comes out. So, I don't believe that they're actually aliens. I believe that it it's failed cloning. What do you think about that? I mean, because out of if you think if you because we're because we're on the verge, we're more on the verge of trying to figure out how to clone things. We're cloning sheep. We're cloning food. Uh, we're we're uh, more of cloning. I got something for cloning on you. What's that? Um, did you know that there's a there's another theory on and this is actually provided you can go look this up on the internet MIT fucking posted this right that they are testing humanoids crosses between humans and animals um, and I think they so called have done successfully have done humans and pigs oh yeah they have together 
Oh yeah, yeah. they have. Um, it's uh, because the the real. a lot of a lot of like heart stuff, like um, the heart the heart valves, they replace those a lot with pigs. Um, no, 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 no. I, I'm I'm talking. No, I, I get what you're saying there. No, they're actually making human noise, half human, half pig. Oh really? Yes. This is yes. They they are crossing. Oh, I didn't know about that, but I animals to get I, this humanoid thing. But I I've heard of them using like pig parts for like heart Absolutely, valves. Absolutely, yeah, because because we are the um that is our close even though it's any not anything like us, um a pig is actually one of the closest animals to our internal system like the they, well, I, pig, I can believe when that. You put a pig parts into your into a human body. They're the least likely to reject. Is what I'm trying to. Say. Right, I, I can believe that. Is and it like I know what you're saying. Like it's nowhere. A pig is nowhere near a human. Like we're uh, metaphorically we're closer to apes than we are to pigs. But I can understand that because the the closest thing to a dinosaur is a chicken. So, yeah. so you know I can see how that would work out, but um. But all those leaked alien photos and everything that come out, I think they're I think they're failed uh, cloning experiments because out of anything and everything that could be an alien or that we have the mindset of an alien that people that movies and stuff have taught us, you know, it could be anything. But it, um, all these leaked photos are so humanoid. You know, the only thing that's really different between the leaked alien photos and a human is the big head. They, mm-hmm. But they got. They got the torso. They have legs. They have arms. They have fingers. They all they have is an enlarged head. And I think it's a I think it's a failed cloning experiment, or um, or attempted cloning. I not, um, I, I I don't know on the whole. Oh, I mean, because if you think about I, it, like even, even though like it's a like for instance, this is out of a movie, Men in Black. They when they the the very first one, they remember when Will first comes into. Uh, the MIB headquarters, and he sees that big guy made of like bubbles, so to speak, or fizz or whatever. Mm-hmm. And he starts to mm-hmm. touch him, and and Kay's like, "Don't touch him, he's grouchy," you know. Like, out of something alien could be that even, but all but every single leaked photo, they're so human-like, they're so humanized. So you know what I mean? Like arms, legs, torso, fingers, toes. And then, yeah. the, so the only thing that's different is their head, which is still. Is still round and in a, a round shape. You know, it's bigger and ovally, but it, you know, it's still it's like a human head, just bigger. And right. so that's that's um, that's my theory I, I on know, it. I don't know if I completely agree with the cloning part. Um, I don't think. Well, I mean, I everyone, mean, everyone has their own there. theory. I don't think we I don't think we have reached the point to human clone yet. Well, that's that's what I'm saying. I not, felt not, human. Not that we experience. haven't reached the reached the point to do that yet. I just don't think it's been done yet. Yeah, uh, true. Because no nobody wants to test what that clone's gonna do. I mean, right. We were talking about. Uh, I remember. I don't know if we were talking about it or not. But when I don't know if it was Google. No, it was Facebook. Um, they actually had two. Um, I uh, AI machines, just computers, or it may have been robots or something. But anyway, they coded these robots, right? These robots, when they turned them on, they made their own code and were talking to each other. And the coders couldn't understand what they were saying. They made up their own language and were talking their own code to each other. That's and, interesting. And there's actually an article on it. Um, this happened. This happened probably a year ago. Is is this uh, like is they this didn't know. Lang- is this language like beeps and noises or is it like communication uh, language? That on that I don't know. They I, I I was just I was scanning over it and I saw that they uh, they just created each of the AI created their own language together and then started um, talking back and forth to each other in that in their code, but the coders Nobody understood what it said because it was their own language. Interesting. Um, so that but, uh, happened probably a year ago. I want to say that was with Facebook. Um, 
But on the whole cloning thing, I, I like I was saying, I I don't think because people don't know if it's going to have its own mind, you know, like if if it's going to keep the right. trait of it, because everybody has different personalities. I mean, I guess you can, but every, everybody is unique in their own way. And what is that clone? Is that clone going to be unique in its own way? Is going to feel, learn, um, talk, um, act, you know, mainly act? And is its brain going to be the same way as the host? That's why I think we haven't got. Yeah, I can see that. Um. But on the question of the aliens, do you think um, do you think that the government and aliens are working together or ex- no. extraterrestrial life? No, I do not. Um, like I was saying earlier, I do believe that there's some other kind of living being out in the universe, but I don't think either one of us has met. We haven't been out there. They haven't been in here. So, no, I don't believe that they have. Hundred percent, they haven't. I, I don't believe at all that they have been here. Okay. I mean, uh, I, I want to say there's there is some, like if you really start digging, I want to say there is some. Uh, Let's see, there is some stuff. Oh the yeah, there's working with some. Oh, there, I I agree. If you if you do research, there's all Definitely sorts of random stuff. stuff. I I agree. There's so much stuff too, but then again, uh, it's none of it's clear. Like none of it's confirmed. Especially like UFO sightings. The uh, this there's this is actually debunked on I think it was MythBusters or something. But there was some weird triangle looking thing in the sky one night, and they got tons of alien calls on it, and it ended up being skydivers and doing a pattern thing. Uh, it was like five of them, and so. Um, I, I don't know if it was myth, Mythbusters or a Conspiracy, but it was one of the two. They And so they recreated it. They got more skydivers, and they got their their foot trails or whatever the, whatever you do with them. And they did it at night. And, again, they got a bunch of calls about this alien sighting when they set it up for them to be these skydivers. So hmm. whenever – and then when people videotape UFOs and, and whatever, the UFO could be anything. Because what UFO is unidentified flying object. They, if I if I wad up a piece of paper and I flick it next to your head, and you just barely see it go by, but you don't know what it is, you just saw a UFO. Technically, because I mean, you saw it, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you mean, saw an unidentified flying true, object. Yeah. Yeah. So um, nothing is confirmed. I, you know, there's there's all sorts of aircraft that can, that's being made. It, everything's updating you know that we have these lot us um f-16 f-18 fighters that are you built for fighting none of that came from any kind of alien technology no i think it i think it evolved over time of so you think humans uh, have done have made this technology yes. better and better and better yes and then uh i, I that's, just i don't know i can't it's hard to believe I, it's hard to believe but yeah I have uh, like think. for instance, for instance, take take phones. This is a perfect example. Here. Take take a phone. Mm-hmm. They, I don't remember who invented the phone, but whatever. They so you had the, the you had the phone. They start out in this right. big box, and that you had to you had to reel, uh, you had to like reel it to to make right. a call, and it can only go from point A to point B. And then they, then somebody invented a switchboard. So now you call the you call the switchboard, and then they connect you to whoever you want to talk to. And then it evolved into a computerized uh, switchboard. Uh, mm-hmm. So now you dial a number, and it takes you automatically to that to that person. And then they come out with cell phones. Well, they came out with the um, the the war radios, the the sat phones, so to speak, the big right, ones, the right. huge antennas. So it came out with that, and then they compacted that idea into um, like the briefcase phone, uh, or not, the, or the the handbag phone, and then that went into like the Nokia phones, like the indestructible Nokias, and then right. those went in, then it went into 
uh, a flip phone, and then it went in, or then it went into a camera, then it went into a flip phone, and then it evolved into a touch screen, and now we're now we're at where we are now. So if you think about it like that, planes are the exact same way. They we start out with the Wright brothers. They we we had like some they had paper and sticks and string, and they made a they made an airplane out of it. And then that evolved into jet fuel, which jet, um, well, rocket fuel. Uh, rocket fuel was invented by a couple of kids make, trying to make something in their dorm room and blew themselves up. And uh, that's how that's how the NASA program was invented. Uh, and so instead of instead of them getting expelled, they moved them out somewhere and and told them to keep going with whatever the project they were working on. And that, then that's how NASA was born. And then same with the aircraft. So now, so now you have your aviation laws of from the Wright brothers. You have your fuel from these guys in their dorm. They, so now let's get into some metal. We need some kind of, we need something to protect it. So now we can get into um, our steel, which the big jumbo jets were made out of years ago. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, all right, well now we have a lighter metal. Let's move over to some carbon fiber. It's really strong. It's ju- it's just as tough, but it's a lot lighter, so we can go faster. So we add, let's add another fuel. Let's add another fuel container on it, or um, another rocket, or whatever, and we can go faster because we have a lighter airplane made out of metal. So uh, yes, I believe it. It's I mean, evolved. yeah, when you think about it like that, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I do believe. I don't believe we got it from aliens. I think somebody had an idea, and then it just evolved and grew over time. It's just there in the back of my mind, like like some something has, you know, so, something has definitely. I don't know. It, to to me, you know, every hey, everybody has their theory. Everybody has their opinion. Oh yeah, and there, there's a lot of stuff have... I can go fifty fifty on too, because not it's there's too much confirmation. There's too much unknown confirmation that it yeah, could exactly. be or is. <laughs> And, and and I I think we have been in touch with aliens, at least the U.S. government. Um, I, I think because why why is Area Fifty One one of the most secure places? You know, there's actually two of them. It, it, would it be in the world, or is it? Would it be just in the United? Just the United States. I I know for sure it's the most secure place in the United States. It's not. States. It's not the most secure place. What would be more secure? I mean, the, besides a prison. Uh, the prisons aren't more secure at all. Um, Fort Knox is pretty secure. Oh, yeah. Um, I believe it's more secure than Area 51, because technically Area 51 is not secure at all. Just from the stories that everyone says, that people are scared to actually go in. You know? They, okay, so yeah, do you think you, they would? Uh, do you? Okay, so what? What are they? What are they hiding in there? Do you think they would? Um, these people that are gearing up for the area, you know, so-called Area Fifty One raid. Um, do you think that they would be able to penetrate this? This base. I I think if they were if they were to go full force and actually get into it, I believe they will find something that we do not know of. But I do not believe they will find aliens or alien technology. But I do believe they will find some something that we are not aware of. It could be the cure to cancer. It could be a new car. They've already found the cure be, to cancer. Oh yeah, of course they have. But that's a whole no, other topic. They, they, oh yeah, I a, I totally it, believe you. And a real an Israeli scientist uh, last year actually found the cure to cancer. And I totally believe you on that, and I believe they have, and I believe that they've had the cure for it for years. Yeah, However, they, they, they on the, the time... probably wouldn't start be, getting released for another four years. No, it won't ever be released, period, unless it gets forced released. Um, I think because it will be released. I don't believe so at all, because there is no profit in cure. Because <laughs> once they cure them, then they don't make any more money. <clears throat> and that's that's the... That's pretty much the medical rule, like the the unknown medical rule. There's no profit in cure. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's yeah. Where, you, you've got you've got a good lot of good supporting facts. I'll give you that. 
Um, <laughs> I've been around a lot longer, man. She doesn't think so. I'm gonna go. I'm still gonna walk up to that store later and get my ice cream. But no, this was like a hot thought about that. What's okay. that? What if we were the aliens? Okay, so basically the little. I, get I agree that, with you, you know, too. We evolved with the apes or whatever, I guess. But here's the thing. Think about it. What if we, you know, used to, what if we're the reason of the, you know, the reason of the extinction of all the dinosaurs and all that? We fought, like, basically, we're from a whole nother um, universe or whatever, and we found Earth, and we found out that it's inhabitable for us and all that. And so we decided, you know, we, we you know, we discovered it, we seen what's on it, and so we just, we extinct basically everything besides, you know, most stuff. And right, then I want to chime, I want to chime in us. on that. We're we're, because, we're basically the aliens. Which I, I can see that happening because out of everything in the world that we know of, we are the only unique item. Oh. In in the world. And so I can I can understand that. And that was actually on a on a uh, conspiracy theory thing that um because I, I watch a lot of i watch a lot of like documentaries and one of my yeah. favorite ones is um ancient aliens which is oh, not yeah. actually aliens like i love watching that stuff about in just i i love i i love useless knowledge so <laughs> in uh in so th- this is actually one of the documentaries on that is that um one of the theories was what if we're what if we're in a in a global prison, so to speak? That you know, some something happened to us in another part of the universe, and we were dumped here, and yeah, that's what I thought. Before about. and forced to uh, reproduce and recreate as a punishment or a as an invasion, even. So, like, even though that we're human, mm-hmm. I can see the theory that we would be the aliens because. Technically, we are the aliens because we're the only unique item in on our planet as of today. Because everything else is the same. Yeah. Yeah. You, know that you got you got two you got two tigers that are exactly the same. You got um, or male and female tigers. You got male and female everything else. You got bugs and and you don't have insects and intellectual. Cool mind that mindset that we have you have nothing and that, to yeah and that's oh, that's why we're talking about a food chain we like we were set so far apart on that but you know we are in that aspect we are the only unique unique item on this planet yeah see the problem is i just don't like even like i just don't see how we could have evolved from apes like you know we saw as apes and we evolved from that like i don't see how that's possible and even from that, like, I don't get how we have over, you know, this many people. Like, I feel like it did not just start off with just two people. It, oh, I agree you know, with you on that. I don't think so. Everywhere. That, like, which, there was it, no way we, there was two people. We created seven billion people over 2,000 and some years. Or well, not even 2,000 years, millions of years. It's time for time for a wrap-up. we got about four minutes left in this podcast. Oh, boy. Wanna, let's wrap everything up in a nice little bow and... Admit that we're all crazy. Um, don't laugh while you're on the phone with your mother. She might think you're high and <laughs> never let you have a car ever again. I said, she still won't let me get a fucking car, dude. It's pissing me off. She won't even let me get my license, dude. You know, I had to buy my own car. Thank you very much. No, 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 no. She won't let me buy my own car. <laughs> That's the problem. She won't let me buy my own license. She won't let me do none of that. Well, if you stop sleeping with your aunt, she might. <laughs> Fuck you. Dude. So, so like I was saying, okay, so you have 360k births per day. So each day you have um 151,600 people die each day. So three. So there's more people being born each day than there is dying. Yes. No, that sounds about right. But that was throughout... still that was still that was still leaving at two hundred and eight thousand four hundred people each day. I want to bring up more topics right now about that, but like we we have to end it here in a second. So yeah, we, we, we got I about we got about two minutes left of this, so we got to end this. Well, I mean, yep. um, I could go I could go on that 
on two topics here. Do they That'll do be the next do... topic. The next topic. Yeah. Okay, All right, thanks for tuning in to <laughs> IS3 Podcast. I'm Scribble. I'm here with two lunatics that are off their medications, <laughs> Cooper and Whoops. Intent. And we will see you on the next episode of We Are Fucking Crazy. <laughs> mm-hmm.